Uh, the senator from West Virginia, Emily, says not anytime soon. Uh, it seems to be the reporting. And what I see is a lot of different articles saying America wants this legislation. If that's the case, why is this so difficult? It's difficult because, as usual, the devil is in the details. I mean, we want paid leave, they want health care, they want child care. But Democrats have realized that this has to be paid for. Whatever they spend on these programs, they need to offset with taxes. And once again, that's proven to be a really big sticking point here <clears throat> in D.C. We are starting to see some progress. Senator Kirsten Senma the other day, her office confirmed that she is supportive of getting tax revenue from the wealthy, from companies. However, she doesn't want to do it by raising that corporate tax rate, that proposed yeah. raise from 21% to 26.5. That seems to not be what she's going to support. So they're looking at other options on how to do this, which means Democrats have to find $540 billion of other tax well, revenues that the senator will support to put in the package. You're very good at this, working with Bloomberg government. One idea is to take a 10-year program, make it a five-year program, make some of these programs one or two years. Explain what the efficacy is of a 24-month program to our viewers and listeners. So the bet that Democrats are making here is that if they only extend some of these programs, like a child tax credit for a year, they'll be so popular among voters that there won't be hard to reauthorize these programs. And in fact, there is research out there showing that once Congress has a program in place, it is much easier to create that program than to get rid of that program. And so that's something that Democrats are banking on when they're looking at doing some of these programs for only the short term. Also notable what they're not considering short term are the climate change change provisions. Multiple lawmakers who I've talked to this past week have been very clear with me. Those cannot be funded in the short term. Those need to be long-term programs. They need to be funded for the full 10 years that the reconciliation process allows. Can we talk about the two roadblocks in the Senate, Kirsten Sinema, who obviously seems to be opening her mind a bit to some of these tax issues, as well as Joe Manchin. Is this debate working out politically in their favor, or are they starting to feel the heat for it on the Democratic side? I mean, I think both senators are absolutely feeling the heat from it. There's been no shortage of campaigns trying to pressure both senators into supporting the larger package of bills. And I think to a certain extent, you are seeing uh, negotiations continue. You're starting to see a little more transparency on what Senator Sinma wants. I, I actually heard lawmakers this week praise Joe Manchin. They said, you know what, we might not agree with where he's at, but he is negotiating with us and he is working with us. And we're confident that he's going to be able to get an agreement. The White House is saying that this is still going to happen, that they think that negotiations can wrap up soon. Of course, as uh, Tom very correctly mentioned, mentioned, that Joe Manchin doesn't think that this can happen by the end of the mm -hmm. month. But regardless, we are seeing progress being made. We are seeing the discussions move forward. President Biden really solidified that in the town hall last night, really getting concrete about what will or will not be in this bill. And Nancy Pelosi staying in town this weekend. Yeah. Uh, negotiations are definitely continuing.